Hi, welcome to Lesson 15. Today we're going to talk about a way to refresh the data in your pivot table. I've played a little bit with the pivot table since we left, got rid of the formulas that we had, and I've changed the row labels to now look at the, what do we got, six insurance companies. And what I'm going to do is, if you look here, we've got United Healthcare at the bottom, and we've only got $60,000 in receivables from United Healthcare. Let's just assume, for the sake of argument, that we want to change United Healthcare to Medicare. Or excuse me, to Medicaid. Let's change it to Medicaid. Medicare is right there. We'll change it to Medicaid. So here's the data that I have. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this Do From and click Find and Select and Replace UHC with Medicaid. Replace All and Close. So you would expect that when I come back over to Sheet 1, I would see Medicaid right there, and I don't. And the reason is that pivot tables are set to not refresh constantly or look back at the, the initial data constantly. A lot of times pivot tables run on a network to a server where you don't want to be bringing the data over all the time. It may not change very often. And so what you want to do is you want to have an ability to, to refresh or get new data on demand. And here's how to do it. You click any place in the pivot table to bring up the pivot table tools menu and we're going to click on options and this refresh button here that fast goes through and says no it's, there's no United Healthcare now it's Medicaid and if we come back replace all I'm still at Medicaid until I refresh. And so it's critical to know whether your data is current or whether you need to refresh. I'll show you one more trick while we're talking about refreshing data. This button up here will refresh on demand. Anytime you want to, you can click that button and it will look at live data, whether that live data is sitting in your spreadsheet like this or sitting out in on server in SQL or some other environment. If you come to the options menu and you look at options, what you want to do is if you go to data we can refresh data when opening the file and if you check that then what it will do is it'll say hey when every time I go to open the spreadsheet what we're going to do is we're going to go out and look make sure we get the most current data and bring that in as the process of loading the pivot tables and that's what I do with my with my data I go through and set Excel so that this, every time I load it I go out and get the most recent data and then I don't refresh any any more frequently than that because I know every time I open it I've got current data and if I ever needed to I can always click this refresh button and get the most recent version of the data. If you've got a pivot table that's based on data that changes or um, it's based on something where uh, you need to make sure you've got the up to the minute stuff this refresh button will come in real handy. Hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching.